So how's it going everyone? Uh, Andrew here from Lone Rider. I'm the product guy, product manufacturing engineering guy at uh, Lone Rider and uh, we're going to give you an update on the new clip and ride system. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago I gave you a quick rundown of why we changed the concept um, and basically a few weeks later, later it looks exactly the same. It does look the same, but it's definitely not the same. So the concept is the same, but we've uh, just uh, basically engineered it out to make it work really well. Uh, that means the clipping system is much more robust and safe. The locking system is also more robust and safe. And I've taken all the feedback that we got from you guys, the Facebook posts and the emails, and integrated some of those ideas into this uh, system. Um, so it looks the same, essentially, but it's completely different uh, basically more robust and better for manufacturing uh, less parts and um, things like that so let's have a look we are this is the system here uh, first I'll show you this in the computer in the 3d system this is SolidWorks uh, 3d modeling system and then I've printed one of these out and I'll tested it in real life and I'll show you that as well um, so here we go um, we've got two sides. We've got the offset, that's for the BMW, the AT, Africa Twin, and Alikes, uh, and we've got the flat rack. So basically, the, it will work only on um, flat racks. Uh, if you have any knobs here or something, they have to be removed from the rack, um, or any kind of special racks. 18 millimeter also, so the diam diameter is 18 millimeter here, uh, which is the most common. Um, and also, uh, we're using our existing parks and systems, stuff like this. So basically, the motor bag just uh, slips on top. There's no real big change to the design. It just you just put you just mount the bag on, and it's already locked in place automatically with one, two, three, and four pins. And these pins slip into these out cuts or these cuts here, and um, you're good to go. It is possible to do it one-handed uh, and uh, basically drive away. It's really quick if not the quickest system on the market. So, and we've got the locking system in here, and uh, this is this took most of the time, basically this took all the time, this small piece here, because it had to be secure, it had to work really well, um, and we were working with existing locks, and we had to get the two keys working for both left and right pannier, and all this kind of stuff, and make it work, and also take a beating. You had to really take a beating, uh, and we've increased a lot of material, added a lot, um, for example, this is now four millimeters, four millimeter thick so if there is a hit from behind it's gonna it's gonna hold it's gonna hold well it's gonna hold as much as um it can anyway it can, it'll hold a lot um we'll test this of course and um we're sending it out to our guys soon for testing and these guys are um, an american they ride quite a lot off-road and so yeah they're going to give it a proper beating um so anyway yeah so basically what happened is the whole system has been internalized so we've got a spring system here uh, when the bag comes down uh, it'll hit this pin the pin will move back and let in the the pin that's connected to the bag um, so yeah that's basically it there's nothing really to it this put gets pushed back and then the spring inside pushes it over and you can walk away. I'll actually show you the, how it works in a minute on, the, on a real life model. Um, and then if you want the extra, basically you can drive away now. That's good. You can drive away and it's not going to pop off. If you fall over, it should, it'll stay on the bike. Uh, if you were going to the supermarket or going to pay for your petrol in the petrol station, gas station, uh, you want some extra security, you just push this button down and it locks in place. And it locks the pin in place so it can't be removed. The, the bag cannot be removed from the bike. And that's basically it. It's um, that's the biggest update since uh, last week. Uh, basically, it's been, we've been putting a lot of effort into engineering and getting all the details correct because we're talking millimeters here. Uh, it's all going to be riveted now. We're not going to screw anything, so it can't be taken apart and tampered with. Uh, it's going to be much more, much more secure. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So let's jump into real life. Uh, I've printed out a model. And I'll show you how that works. So, okay, out of the computer into real life. What I've done here is made a workhorse and added our racks. These are the Africa Twin racks that we sell. And just for staging, I haven't got my bike. It's locked down. So uh, I'm making do, working around it. And I've made the system so I can test the quick release system. 
Um, yeah, this is the bag attached. It's from one side. So obviously the motorbike seat will be here uh, and it is as slim as profile as possible. There's no extra gap between, there's 10 millimeters more from there, so it's not much. So what, how it works is um, to remove it, to add it on, that's what's gonna stay on the bike. Obviously it's not gonna be white. Um, I use white because the 3D printer prints out, um, it came with it for a start. And secondly, I can use a Vivid or a, a marker and mark the design on there and put notes and stuff like that. So that's why I use white, but it will be black. Um, and that'll stay on the bike. This is uh, this is the offset system. So it's got two offsets here, uh, but you won't need those for a flat, which is the other side. Yeah, so how it works is uh, on the back of the bike, back of the bag, motor bag, you've got uh, one, two, three, and four points. They fit to the bike, and then you've got kind of like a, a latch here. That's all you see. It's not sharp or anything like this. These can be retrofitted to the older motor bags, this metal plate has not changed design. So that's good. Um, I'll, I'll make a handle as well. Let's see, I haven't got a handle. I've, I've made a handle, I just need to get the samples for it. It will come, um, you can do it with two hands or one hand. Uh, I'm holding the phone now, so I've only got one hand, but there are handles on the side of the bag, on the side of the motor bag, so you can put it on with two hands. All you have to do is line up these connection points is pretty easy and drop it on and you're good that's it so i've done it with one hand and it's locked in place uh yeah that's basically it i mean this hasn't got a spring in it but that latch would have been which would have automatically clocked or closed and locked the bag in place so you, really you can just drive off now uh no troubles there's also a lock here uh, the key We've keyed them so they will fit both sides, one key for both sides. Uh, if you want that extra security at the gas station or going to get food or somewhere, just uh, all you have to do is push that down, that button, and it'll lock. To undo it, yeah, we've got a key, uh, easy to undo, and good to go. That's it, it's really simple. Um, yeah, very, very simple. Very clean profile, close to the, close to the bike, and uh, quite se secure. We're we'll using nylon. So it's almost indestructible, good quality stuff, all stainless steel, and uh, yeah, back into the computer. So that was this week's update on the clip and ride system. Uh, next week I have new products to show you. It's soft products and a few hard products that um, we haven't talked about until we won't talk about. We haven't talked about until uh, I show you next week, so keep tuned for that. And yeah, if you have any input, feedback, experience, anything like that with uh, quick release systems for your motorcycle, what you like, what you don't like, what problems you can see with this design, excuse me, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll look into them and try and sort it out. You guys have really good ideas and feedback is essential to making a product just perfect. Um, we're pretty close now. Uh, the next step would be to, I'm going to 3D print this one out here at home on my 3D printer, which takes about a day to print out. So it's quite a major, major task. And um, then I'll make, him, I'll make all the inner workings correct and functioning, and then I'll make a real prototype, final prototype. And then from there, I'll go and get the sample made at the engineers just around the corner. And we will work it from there and get it tested uh, with some local riders here in New Zealand. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Leave me some feedback if uh, you have any ideas or you caught if you caught your eye on something that could give us trouble. Thanks a lot. Cheers.